Hello and uh, welcome back. Uh, yeah, I bought myself a little present and I just wanted to play with it. Uh, more than a year ago, I uh, play with a 3D laser printer and now I sometimes use it to uh, print uh, parts. And uh, now I have something else. And that is a laser engraver. So uh, it is only uh, 3 milliwatts. So it's not a laser cutter, it's really only an engraver. But then I can put my logos on uh, on things. Or if I build something in a plastic casing, instead of using these white uh, labels, I can maybe just engrave it uh, in there. And uh, for safety, I have also laser glasses because uh, yeah, you really can be blinded by looking into the laser. So I have to. What if someone is watching? And. Uh, this is the K4, but it is the K4 with uh, Bluetooth. Okay, of, of course it's not 3 milliwatts, but uh, 3000 milliwatts, and that is uh, 3 watts. So let's see. I can maybe burn holes in... Uh, I can maybe burn holes in paper. No, it comes with the manual. Chinese and English. It has nice pictures, so you can even download iOS and Android. Okay, it is a back with nothing. Uh, maybe the manual well, is supposed to be in there. Oh, okay, a little screwdriver, and I think it is some test material. It seems like leather. I think these are samples to try. So this is probably the this is probably the size of what you can discard is a laser focus paper before placing the card on the item. Okay, so we need to focus the laser on this paper, and I think these are samples. So this is cardboard. So let's see how that works. And now we need to focus the laser. Okay. I was a bit surprised they, they shipped it just like this. Sometimes they put the car uh, garbage back around it, but this time they didn't. They just shipped it like this. Thank you for doing that. Uh, let's see. Whoops. Let's see if we can take that out. But they do fix the laser. So tiny. This is to focus the laser. Okay, there's a little ventilator. What else is in the box? Okay, here, here, probably the power adapter. It should probably be able because with all the, uh, the steppers. And the laser already being uh, 3 watts, and probably it's not that effective, so maybe that uses 5 watts, so it's already 1 amp, including all the steppers, so it probably is 2 or 3 amps. The software they put on the memory stick, that's very nice. And we have some glass to protect also your eyes. And we have some wood here, probably to practice. A round one and a square one. And I think that is it. Let's see how they did the power plug. Ah, it is indeed a nicely European plug. Ah, this is to clean the laser, I think. USB 
fat cable, that is good. What is this? Yeah, 12 volts, 2 amps. Makes sense. Okay, now I'm gonna do a weird thing. I'm actually gonna read what I need to do. I will put it in uh, time lapse and I'll put it together. Okay, that was a bit silly because uh, it is delivered with this tiny screwdriver. I'm actually using it while it's a crappy screwdriver, but somehow because it came with it, I feel I need to use it. <laughs> so I did, but uh, yeah, it's just a protective window. <laughs> and uh, in the side you can then, you need to manually focus the laser by just turning the lens. So, oh, but uh, yeah, there are two ways I can do this. I can do this with uh, with the Bluetooth connecting to the iPhone, or maybe I even use my iPad. It's more convenient. Or you can do it to the computer. Okay, it seems that the laser is already doing things with them. I'm not sure I want it. Okay, this is a bit scary. I don't see any smoke. Yeah, these glasses work so very good. <laughs> I, I don't see the laser, so it does work. This is, these glasses are uh, exactly the right frequency. It is between 200 and uh, 500 uh, nanometers, exactly the that's what of the what the laser does but it also means i don't see anything i don't even see the so if i want to adjust it uh, it's very hard to see okay i think it's focused but i cannot really see so i'll switch it off because Uh, and that starts to do things. It is doing, uh, I think it's looking for its limits. And it's doing some sort of self test. But it doesn't seem to stop. Huh? No, now it stops. But I don't want it to burn a hole in my. No, okay, this is very low power. This is really just to focus. But the thing is, I don't see it focusing on that. Ah, yeah, I think this is it. Okay, how we proceed, how I put the Bluetooth in my phone, the PC up looks nice, but why not? Okay, well they gave me a memory stick, so I just let's stick it in, okay, here it comes, and yeah, I don't know, this is a gift, this is a gift, this is the driver, but maybe it's, we checked it later, iOS, is uh -huh. iOS Android, scan with your, okay, uh, maybe this changed, I can have a little try, if this one maybe does uh, work. Okay, that is the same problem. The app is not available in my country. So, well, this is something for Mac. 
they have some manuals, pictures, maybe that are nice, logos, the software, software. Now let's do the highest version, 2.5. Why not? Laser framework 2, laser framework 4. Okay. The 2 seems very Chinese, but maybe this is the language button, is it? Uh, no. And if I do the framework 4. Mm. I need to be able to somewhere change the language, I think. Mm. That makes sense. Okay. Laser power, engraving depth. Okay. Hmm. Can I load the picture? What is this thing? Connected device. It is oh, open picture. It's called open picture. Okay, let's try again. We have some settings here. Oh, we set already to English. Then you have here uh, the set button, and then you have here that I put my Google Translator. Just with, uh, with the photo. And uh, this is the laser standby intensity, and this is the move speed, and this is the version of the laser, I think. And here you can write it to the machine if it's connected or when it's connected. Um, we open a picture, and now it's in black and white, but you can also say I want it discrete, that you have sort of grayscale. You can do outline, and you can do sketch. Well, I think for now, black and white, let's see what that does. You can mirror the image, like this. Or you can rotate it. You can do negative. And you can, put, you can throw it away, you can put text. I have not found how you can increase it, but maybe I can if I do uh, 40. This silly, you make the picture bigger and then it doesn't move. If I do it again, no. So, how I can walk this, but what if I say 30? Okay, how I move this? Okay, it's very uh, limited. Very limited. Uh, I want to center the. Can I. Coordinates. I should be able to reposition the picture. Huh? Okay, I just attached the device and then I say I just connected all the cables and now I say attach device and then it starts to make a lot of noise and then it moves the picture suddenly in the upper left. So now I can enlarge it. Don't tell me why, but okay, now it is probably as big as possible and now it's in the most left corner. Let me make a picture of that, so it is in exactly in the left in the back. Okay, um, yeah, they say if you upload it to the machine it is more stable, so I push it to the machine. Here it goes, because then the communication doesn't need to go while it is printing or engraving. Uh, let me see if I do now. 
preview push it. Ah, why it's doing it twice? Okay, uh, I do a preview position and then it is moving. Okay, perfect. Then I can move the paper the way I want it. Is it straight? Not completely. Okay, I think it is more or less straight. Cool. Okay, uh, I do a preview position and then it is moving ok perfect then I can move the paper the way I want it is it straight not completely ok I think it is more or less straight cool does it stop at some point? I think it's aligned it's ok you can stop I push the button again, and then it stops. Yeah, okay. Uh, well, let's do start. Oof, I will wear the glasses, it's bright. Well, it really takes a while, but you, you can see in the software how long it's going to take. You can see here the red line. So we are here with the, with the printing, with the engraving, burning. And uh, it is like yeah, five, almost six minutes on its way. So a picture this big it takes, uh, yeah, if I need to make a guess, almost 20 minutes. So uh, yeah, I will also stop my time lapse. So that actually worked uh, quite good. First I did it on the test paper. This took about 40 minutes. And uh, then I said, oh, I can also do the, do the wood. So I designed a little bit with the circle. I liked that better. And uh, I put it in, instead of in 10% uh, depth, I put 20% depth because it is wood. And I think it was a good choice because uh, it is here, but this one took almost uh, 50 minutes so you need to have your time but then uh, yeah the result is there I like it all right that's it I just wanted to share my new uh, toy with you uh, yeah thank you for watching and uh, hope to see you next time